Welcome back. Now, in order to get started with Get Response right away, you're going to want to create a list in order to start capturing names and emails. So the first thing you're going to do is to go to the contact section. And when you see the contact section, what you're going to do is you're going to click this button that says Create List. You're going to give your list a name. Now that list needs to be all one word, all lowercase. Once you do that, you'll then click Create. When you do that, you are going to have list settings. So you're going to want to go to this area and click Settings. Now the first thing you're going to do is give your list a title and description. Once you've written in your description, you can then choose a specific category. You're then going to keep scrolling down. You're going to write in the name of your company or organization, as well as the address, city, and zip. Get Response will allow you to place your logo. This is something that your customers are going to see, in particular when they go to change their details and look at details about their list signup. Then if you want that image to be clickable, you can place a website address in this area. And then you can copy down your feed URL, which will have everything with respect to this list. We're now going to click General Settings. You'll then need to look at your specific list settings with respect to subscriptions. You can send all of your subscription notifications to one email which you will designate. You can also determine whether you are going to have those that are added to your email marketing list to confirm their subscription if they come through a web subscription or if they come through API. And you can determine that here in this area. So for example, what we're going to do with this particular list is we're going to say that if the individuals come through a web subscription, we're going to want to require them to have a double opt-in confirmation. However, if they come through an API, and more than likely if they come through an API, they'll be connected to your account through some particular kind of sale or closing. So you'll typically not want to have these individuals opt in again. Now there may be cases where that will be the case, but typically this is going to be the connection to your after sale autoresponder. You can then determine what that confirmation page is going to look like. You can either have a custom URL at your designation, or you can use the get response confirmation page. If you want to preview that page, you can click this link. Get response will also allow you to see what individuals are going to see when they attempt to unsubscribe. And you'll see that here. You'll also get a chance to see an unsubscribe success page. You can preview that also. And then you can choose to have all of the emails that you're going to be using with this list to appear inside of a newsletter directory. So for example, if we click this preview button, individuals that come to this page, they can sign up for your list when this page is presented. And you can assist that process more by making sure that this page is going to be indexed in the search engine. So we're going to stop the video right here and then we're going to take a look at the settings for the confirmation message. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.